Hello, Crypto Club Codebreakers. This week, we will be talking about keyword ciphers. Why do we need another type of substitution cipher? This one's a little more difficult to crack than the regular Caesar ciphers or the additive ciphers. What you do is you take a word and you insert it into the cipher table and then wrap the remaining alphabet letters around it in their original order. So unless you know what the keyword is, you won't be able to solve a keyword cipher, unless you're a code breaker. Here we have a cipher table and a message that needs decoding. And fortunately, some of the letters have already been filled in for us. First step here is to take the letters from the message that have been filled in and put them into the cipher table above. Remember when we solved Caesar ciphers? We noticed that one letter words in the English language usually are the letter A or the letter I. We know that the one letter word in this cipher table is not I because the I has been filled in using the word cipher. So the letter Y for a cipher must be equivalent, a cipher letter must be equivalent to the letter A in plain text. My next step for the message, to decode the message, is to go through and fill in all of the plain text letters that match the cipher text letters that we already know. We know that in a keyword cipher, that the keyword interrupts part of the alphabet. So we know B is H, and C is I, and F is K, so we can fill in the A for G, and the J for D, but then we're missing the letter E. Needing a place to put the letter E and knowing that it has to be somewhere that's already filled in in the table. We know that the TIM is out of alphabet order. So I'll put the E at the end of that and we come up with a keyword of time, which means our key letter C is above the first letter of the word time. So our key letter is C, our keyword is time, and let's see if the rest of the cipher table fills in correctly. So that you can see where I'm matching the letters. The beige colored plain text letters are the ones from the original minus the keyword letters. The keyword letters are in green, and then the other two letters that I'm certain of are A and D, and we have one G down below, which matches A, and we have no J's to match D in our cipher table. Now filling in the rest of the cipher table, I need to remember not to put in the letters that are part of my keyword. So between H and J is the letter I, so I skip that, and then in between the S and the U is the letter T, and so I skipped that as well. Then I fill in the remainder of the letters in the message so that I can see if the message is coherent. Here, once I've removed all the colors, you can see that the answer to the message is a keyword cipher is a type of substitution cipher that uses a keyword and a key letter to make its cipher table. Can you guess what they are in the table above? Well, we figured that out as we went along. Okay, Crypto Club Code Breakers, have fun playing around on the website this week, and we will have more interesting things to do and learn next week. See you later.